Uh, Patty Millette is here joining us today. Uh, Patty happens to be the, uh, the mom of one Justin Bieber. How are you? Good, how are Welcome you Welcome to the show. Thank you. Good to have you. I know you're here for a totally different reason. We'll talk about your boy. He's pretty famous, whatever, uh, in a few minutes. But um, you've recently written a book. A matter of fact, and you've done a youth edition of this, of this book about your, your, your growing up, mm -hmm. right? Because what happened to you happened at an early age and then into early adulthood, did it mm -hmm. not? Yeah, I, I have been through a lot of things in my life. A lot of people think, oh, well, you're Justin Bieber's mom. Your, your life is roses, and it's always been roses. But um, I went through a lot of things when I was growing up, some terrible abuse and some um, just deep wounds of rejection and you know, drug and alcohol abuse, even a, 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 an attempted suicide. And so I talk about these things in my book and really hopefully to bring inspiration and hope to other people who have been through similar Yeah, situations. you're doing this to help other people, and that's quite admirable. It's also admirable and, and difficult to talk about these things because, to be honest with you, that's how, you know, th these things progress in the first place because you, as a, as a young person, had no idea how to go about talking to anyone right. about your, your, the things that were happening to you, no one to go to, right? Right. And that, as you know, is part of the problem. Here. Yeah. Yeah, I think, you know, it's really important to to just find some people to talk to, to share your story with, and, and as parents to just have an open dialogue with your kids. Um, you know, for me, I, I was, went through, you know, like I said, years of abuse, but there was... Uh, um, a commercial, like a, a, a PSA that came on on TV. Are you TV. talking about the, the Webster one? Webster. Yeah. Yeah, and he came on and he just said, um, you know, if someone touches you in ways you don't like, go, say no, and go and tell someone. And that was the first time anybody had ever put words. So you realized at that point it's okay to say no? Yeah. And that you should actually talk to someone about this? Yeah, I mean, when stuff is happening to you when you're oh, a child. How old were you in, when all this, um, when you realized what was going on? It started when I was about five years old until I was about 10. Yeah. And, um, you know, my parents had no idea what was going on. Um, my dad had, my biological father had moved um, far away and I, um, I hadn't, I met him when I was nine and then he passed away. Right. So, um, you know, I There's had some. There's some pictures, by the way. Look at you. Yeah. <laughs> by the time I was a teenager, I ended up just, you know, Getting into drugs and yeah, alcohol. Yeah, it kind of sours you a little bit, right? Just trying to, you know, self-medicate and um, just trying to deal with the shame and the pain of, yeah. of things. What I know your mom's here today. Yeah. What does your mom think of all this? Um, because she was unaware of what was happening yeah. to you to a large degree, right? She, her heart goes out to me. You know, she's, she's a great mom, and and um, yeah, she she had no idea what was yeah. going on. Yeah. You were also a young mom yourself, and I kind of uh, relate to you in that way because uh, the same. Uh, uh, you know, you were 18 when Justin was born. My mom was 18 when I was born. Yeah. And it seems to me, I, I don't know, you know, is there a different connection when young moms and, and their boys? To me, there is. You know, there's a, a, a strong bond there. I never had a little girl, so yeah. So I don't know. But <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty close with, with Justin. Yeah. Um, that also, I, I wonder how you feel about this. That relationship is also evolving because your son is now a young man. To, and to some degree wants to do his own thing, right. as all young men do. How's that letting go process for you? I just think as parents, our role changes in different stages of their life. And, uh, you know, when our kids grow up and move out of the house and even go off to college, that dynamic changes. And yeah. um, you just do your best and, and yeah. hope that, that you're still a voice well, in there. Well, it's not like you're uh, not used to change. Right. right, because you have gone through, like, it, to think about the things you've gone through, you start off as, as a young person with abuse and, and the issues that go along with that, then you become a young mom. And I know, you know, Justin and his dad do talk, and, and there's a relationship yeah. there, but you, you and he don't have a relationship uh, uh, outside of be, having a son, correct? Well, now we're friends now. Yeah, you're friends now? Yeah. So you go through that, and then all of a sudden, this boy you've given birth to becomes a megastar. Yeah. Like not just, not just a well-known person, yeah. but worldwide. Right. How does that affect you as a mom? 
You know, like, is that tough to deal with when it first happened? Was it? It's you're like, been a crazy whirlwind, and it's been, um, you know, amazing. Just we still have the same people around us from the very beginning, the same management team, same everything. And the best part of this whole thing blowing up for me is that I have over two million Twitter followers that call me mom. And I get to use this platform for good. And I get to say, hey, I have a story that could help you. Well, it sure brings a little more notice to, to what you're talking about, Yeah. right? Whereas it may not in, in other circumstances, right? So it does give you uh, a, a wider platform and certainly more exposure to a lot more people. Right. And there's a great yeah. way to take advantage of that yeah. for the common good, right? Yeah. And I know that's what you're all about. When 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 your son becomes a megastar, I, I wonder, I, I've often wondered this as a parent, like, what do you do? Do you, do you do you try and manage what happens to him? And, you know, I know a lot of family members had great influence on him early in, in this, uh, you know, in this blossoming into, into a star. Mm -hmm. You know, it's tough, too, to keep a handle on it all, right? Right. Yeah, I think it's just you just take anything, everything one day at a time like anything else. Yeah. Uh, whether they're, you know, playing sports and traveling all over the yeah, place yeah. or, um, you know, that kind of thing. I know growing up, I lived in a pregnancy center yeah. when I was pregnant. Yeah, I know, yeah. And, you know, so we didn't always have it easy, you know, working two and three jobs trying yeah. to put food on the table. Yeah. And so this is a whole another ball game and it's just thrown into this whirlwind. Yeah. And well, that's something you got to deal with. I want to ask you one quick question. I know um, you've got a book signing today at Pinecrest uh, Chapters, by the way. One yes, o'clock, right? One o'clock. One o'clock. Go meet Patty there and she'd love to sign your book. There's the cover. I just want to ask you one question. I had no, uh, no intention of getting into, uh, you know, what's going on with your son. But let me ask you this, yes or no? Is your boy just like any other boy in the end? Do you know what I mean? Like he's a he's boy. He's a human being. He puts his pants on one leg at a time, just like everyone else. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Listen, a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you. I know you're going to stick around and draw a little prize for us. I guess I am, yeah. Because someone's going to go see uh, your, your son tonight in a great show at uh, Canadian Tire Center. Uh, there's our people outside that have come down. We just got these this morning from uh, good friends at Cavanaugh Construction who gave it up. Aww. Uh, so we're going to make a draw, and we'd love if you could do it for us. Would you mind? That would be great. Patty Millette, ladies and gentlemen, go meet her at Chapters today at Pinecrest at 1 o'clock. Uh, but more than anything, uh, read her book because it's a valuable insight into things that a lot of people go through.